Do you know that no matter how good your Jira administrator is, if there is no good backups, you will likely get into a lot of troubles. I've been in that position many, many times. Today we're going to talk about super important topic, which is how to take Jira backups. I'll show you how it's done in Jira, and I'll show you how it's done with an amazing app that we're going to review today. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to The Financial. This is Anatoly, and as I said, topic of today is Jira Backups. And before we go, I wanna thank this sponsor, which is a Rewind app. In my opinion, this is the best backup app in the market. We're gonna review it today, but before, I'm gonna show you how to do it in Jira natively, absolutely for free, and what are the issues of the native Jira Backups. So, no more talking, let's get right into the business. We click on a settings app if you're on Jira Cloud, Make sure you have permissions, please. If you don't have permissions, don't click anywhere. Make sure you have super admin permissions so you can get a backup. So you click on a system and there's import and export. So you go to a backup manager. I should point out that backup has, of course, two stages. One is the backup itself and the other is how to restore. And both of them need to be as easy as possible, ideally automated because if they're not automated, somebody will screw it up and I see it many, many times. So here's the backup manager and you can download your cloud backup. We'll download XML files, you can import, you can create a uh, backup for cloud, which is much easier, but there is one big flaw with this. I already created backup a um, few hours ago and if I click on it again, let's say I'm doing a big migration, I create a backup, but then people wanna change some stuff before we do migration, which happens all the time. Okay, now I need to create another backup. I click on that. Oh wow, export error. What happens? Approximately time until next allow backup is 44 hours and 38 minutes, which means that I can only create backups every 48 hours. And that sucks, because I would like to create backups anytime I want. But I understand Jira, Atlas is a big company, Jira Cloud um, probably has a lot of backups on it. So creating backups as you wish um, probably is very, very costly. So that's why they make that solution. I do not like that. As a Jira administrator, I would like to create backups anytime I want. Also, uh, when you're exporting the backup, let's download one and I'll show you. I'll just refresh this. I'm downloading my cloud backup. So it's a Jira export zip file. I go to that. It is impossible to read. What is entities? What is active objects? If you open them, it's a huge XML file, but I want to see what changes are there. I want to make sure that um, I want to compare two backups and I want to make sure that uh, I want to choose one which, let's say, I added certain objects and not the one which certain objects are not there. So I have to create some naming convention to explain what is its backups and then becomes very, very complicated. And you know what? In a backup world, if something is very complicated, it never gets done. And that is very, very sad. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say import to Jira Cloud. This is a import Jira Cloud. Now I click on import data and import my XML file. The only problem with that is that it is everything. So if you have a huge Jira instance, you have to always restore everything. And now you have to know everything that's happening on your Jira Cloud. Um, let's say you have older backup and you just want to restore one project, you cannot do any of this. You have to import everything and it becomes a pain in the butt. So, if there are solutions, you bet there is. Now you know how to do it in Jira by itself. Let me show you the Rewind app and why I like it so much. To go there, you go to rewind.io and Rewind is an on-demand solution to backup and restore your data. What I like about it, they encrypt the data on their end, on their servers. So everything that they backup gets encrypted and they do it not only for Jira, they specialize in all kinds of other applications, Shopify, GitHub, Klaviyo, MailChimp, wherever you can think of, even Trello. So they know what they're doing. I'm gonna show you how it's work in Jira. So you have to create an account. I already did, but I'll show you how I sign in and how it works. Let's go. I'm clicking on sign in right here. I'll just sign in with my account. So here I am at the Rewind dashboard. How do I get there? I click on apps and then I selected a new app, which is Jira Cloud. It's very, very easy to do. So we're not gonna go through a setup here. It's not 
very important at the moment. They have free trial, you can set it up and try it for free. First thing I really like about this is that they take backups every single day. So you don't have to worry about taking backups because if you rely on somebody taking backups, it will never happen and you can get into trouble. It's way better than somebody is taking backups for you every single day and you can um, restore every single day. Don't have to wait 48 hours, which is already way, way better for me as a Jira admin than the um, original Jira backup manager. You can definitely export what you have um, and then you can import it into Jira. You can backup now, so you can backup anytime. You don't have to wait. There is no errors. It's very, very easy. The other thing, they have this all items, advanced restore and statistics. All items show the, shows you per project what you can restore. So if I just want to restore my defined agile YouTube videos project, I can restore it in Jira right now. The other thing that I showed you there's no way for me to know what was changed, which is the biggest problem. As a sysadmin, I have so many Jira instances, let's say. How do I even know uh, what I need to restore and what was changed? Here, you can click on this view versions. You can select a version. So let's say I did a backup today, and now I want to see the backup on November 25th. I can go and I check. Um, if I don't see anything here, which I can, total issue count changed from 64 to 65, I can go and I can check the source code. And a source code will show me what was changed, a JSON file that highlights what was changed, when it was changed. So it's very, very convenient for me to see if I need to restore that. So let's say I want to restore my um, defined agile YouTube videos to November 25th. I don't want to have uh, 65 issues, I want to have 64 issues. So let me show the issue I added. So here it is, I created this create backup video, which I misspelled, classic Anatoly. Um, so we're gonna restore it so this issue will not exist anymore. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say, I want to restore to this version. So I click on that and then it gives me a warning. Do I want to restore? I say yes. It says restoring in progress and I'll receive email when this is done. So I got my email that restore is done. If I go back to my page and I refresh it, I see that the issue that I created before is not there. So we just restored, it was pretty quick and I only had one change, but what I like about it that I don't have to import, export anything. It's all done right in here. The other thing I wanna show you is called advanced restore. And this is when you can restore everything to any specific date. So again, it takes a backup every single day. So if you want to restore 26, 29, one second, it can do all of it as well, very, very quickly. And there's not much for here to discuss. It's uh, very straightforward. The other thing is statistics. You can see backed up items all time, items backed in the last seven days, items backed in the last 30 days. So you also have all the statistics. It shows you boards, dashboards, filters, sprints, automations. So you have a very good dashboard that shows you what is happening in your backups. All this, in my opinion, the easiness of use of this, the uh, easiness to set it up and the easiness to restore makes me say that this is a way, way better solution for backups in Jira. I'll end here. This is a tool that is easy to use. There's not a lot of talk about, but I think this is amazing. Please give it a try. I'll leave a link up below in the description. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. If you have any questions, put their comments down below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.